Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Before taking over the news with the COVID-19 pandemic, Wuhan has weathered thousands of years of history. Wuhan is the most populated city in central China and the capital of the Hubei province. The name Wuhan comes from Wuchang and Hankou, which are the two major cities along the Yangshi River. The city of Wuhan was officially established in 1927, composed of 13 districts. The city was briefly China's capital. Until the 21st century, Wuhan was an agricultural city. However, during the industrial age, manufacturing became the booming industry in Wuhan. It was the fifth Chinese city to have a metro system and is still considered the center of local transport in China. What else is there to know about Wuhan that the news doesn't cover? Watch on to find out. Wuhan is the most populated city in central China. With 11 million residents, Wuhan has the densest population in all of central China. Wuhan also ranks ninth in the most populous cities in China. The Republic of China established Wuhan out of three separate towns. Long before its reputation as a center for industry, academics, and research, Wuhan used to be the three separate towns of Hanyang, Hankou, and Wuchang because it lies between the Han and Yangtze River. The area evolved into a center for trade and business through time. However, it wasn't until 1926 that the Republic of China unified it as the city of Wuhan. Wuhan is known as the Chicago of China. You can travel to almost all parts of China from Wuhan, which is why tourists call it the Chicago of China. Overall, Wuhan is a center for railways, trains, docking ferries, and ships. Wuhan has one of the fastest trains in the world. The Guangzhou to Wuhan high-speed train can reach a speed of 394 kilometers per hour and is one of the world's fastest trains. The Wuchang Uprising originated from Wuhan. Also called the Wuhan Uprising, the revolt that ended the last imperial dynasty in China took place in Wuchang on October 10, 1911. The uprising was orchestrated by two groups of the new army led by Sun Yat-sen. A student once attacked the principal with a shoe in Wuhan University. Even a whole century after Wu Chang, the spirit of uprising lives on in the city of Wuhan. As a protest to the censorship of the internet, a Huangzong University of Science and Technology student attacked Fan Binxing with a shoe at Wuhan University in 2011. The student, who calls herself Han Yi, orchestrated the shoe attack to protest the Great Firewall of China, which Binxing helped bring to completion. Upon investigation, the student actually planned the shoe attack on Twitter and located Feng's lecture through Twitter mutuals. After the shoe hit Binxing on the chest, Han Yi walked out as other students were keeping the teachers from detaining her. The viral incident is only one of the most interesting Wuhan facts. Wuhan weather can get extremely hot. Wuhan is prominently known as one of the three stoves in China for its boiling heat in the summer. Due to its geographical location and the North Asia Tropic Monsoon, the hot air tends to get trapped in the atmosphere. Wuhan shares its stove title with Chongqing and Nanjing. However, Wuhan experiences all four seasons. Wuhan's symbol is the plum blossom. Through the years, the plum blossom has been Wuhan's emblem. During the Qin and Han dynasties, plums were used medicinally. Now, plums still play a role in medicine and research in Wuhan. Traditional New Year practices even involve the planting of plums. Wuhan time follows GMT plus 8 hours. Like the rest of China, Wuhan follows China standard time. Hubei cuisine is part of China's 10 major cooking styles. Dating back to ancient Chu cuisine 20 years ago, Hubei cuisine represents one out of 10 major Chinese cooking styles. Some known dishes include blunt snout bream in clear soup, ham with flowering Chinese cabbage. For Wuhan in particular, citizens traditionally eat Disai Zhu Ji Dan. This medicinal egg dish is eaten on the third day of the third month of the lunar calendar. 
A popular Wuhan breakfast is Regan Mian. Also known as hot and dry noodles, Regan Mian takes freshly boiled noodles and mixes it with sesame paste. Wuhan citizens typically have this noodle bowl during go zao or breakfast. Wuhan serves salty donuts. For snacks, Wuhan citizens usually eat mian wo, or salty donut, for a quick fix. The savory donut is much thinner than the usual confectionery donut. Wuhan hosts one of the oldest operas in China. The Han Opera in Wuhan is one of China's oldest and most popular operas. Towards the end of the Qing Dynasty, Han Opera combined elements of Hui Opera, which created Peking Opera. To date, Peking Opera has been the most popular modern opera in China. Scholars often refer to Han Opera as the mother of Peking Opera. Wuhan winters begin in December and end in February. Despite reaching seasonal highs of 44.5 degrees Celsius, Wuhan experiences a few couple months of 2 degrees Celsius lows. Wuhan is one of the largest university towns in the world. Wuhan houses 53 universities in its city. With over 1 million university students, Wuhan is one of the biggest college towns in the world. In fact, the city's population of 1 million plus university students make Wuhan one of the largest university towns in the world. Mao Zedong would live in Wuhan on his time off. Mao Zedong often resided in Wuhan's East Lake State Guest House during the summer. After the People's Republic of China was founded in 1949, Mao went to Wuhan more than any other Chinese town outside his government headquarters. Mao even made a poem of Wuhan's Yellow Crane Tower in 1927. Wuhan is home to many Olympic swimmers. Whether the nearby rivers are just a coincidence, many Olympic swimmers have called Wuhan their home. Olympic swimming champions that live here include Zhou Ji Hong, gold 1984 Olympics, and Fu Ming Xia, gold 1992, 1996, and 2000 Olympics. The Huangxi State Sports School has scouted gifted children around the country, honing their skills as early as five years old. Hua Mulan probably lived in Wuhan. According to theories, the legendary female warrior of the Southern and Northern Dynasties allegedly lived in Wuhan's Huangpi district. Coincidentally, the star of Disney's live-action Mulan also hailed from Wuhan. Wuhan is also a center for research. Wuhan has three national development zones, four scientific and technological development parks. Along with these industries, over 350 research institutes and 1,656 high-tech enterprises are based in Wuhan. The COVID-19 pandemic originated from Wuhan. The novel coronavirus was first reported in Wuhan, China on December 31, 2019. Since then, it has been the epicenter of the pandemic, with the largest concentration of infected patients. However, there are now more recovered cases in Wuhan than there are infected. The novel coronavirus is a highly contagious disease that targets the upper respiratory cells and cells in the gastrointestinal tract. Although Wuhan is more associated with novel coronavirus updates, the city has a rich history that survived many human struggles and natural disasters. If anything, Wuhan's position as a progressive country will hopefully help them recover from this epidemic. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.